Is this cute? Do I look good? Y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, sister. I'm over here. My name is Gabba. Today, I'm gonna just do a QA video because y'all don't even know me. Like, I haven't done one QA video. I'm gonna answer some questions that you guys have requested. I posted on my Instagram. You guys have comment a couple of questions, so let's answer it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And first question is, what's your name? So, my real name is what made you come up with your IG name? So I came up with my IG name because my social medias, they used to be called Little Miss Mom. As I got older, I think I was in fifth grade. I was like, that's only because my mama came up with that and she would just call me Little Miss Mom. I'm just scrolling on Instagram. And I love how her name was like Bad Girl Riri. So I was like, hmm, Bad Girl Mari. Bad Girl Mari. That didn't sound good either. So I was like, okay, Bad Girl A. Bad Girl <sighs> That's how I came up with my name. What's your birthday? Number three, number three. Big Sash. And who gonna check me by? Hi, sister. Who gonna check me? Are you delusional? Yes. If you're not delusional, then what are you? Y'all, being delusional is like manifesting. Like, I'm not delusional to the point where it's like, oh no, she's crazy. But I'm delusional to the point where I'm like, you know what? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. But yes, I could be delusional, but not stupid. <laughs> How tall are you? That's it, just five feet. What's your favorite color? My favorite color, I have three favorite colors. My top three favorite colors are yellow and pink. This little Y'all can't see, I gotta do a room tour, but my bed shit is all, like everything in my bed is blue. Doesn't matter which shade of blue it is, I love blue. And black. Are you single? Yes, I'm single. Ready to mingle with them. To the relationship stage, like I've been in so many situations, so I feel like taking the relationship advice will so leave me. Take it or leave it. My best relationship advice will have If you don't feel happy, leave. Like, I don't know. I don't know what y'all want me to say. Like, make sure that you're in a free committed relationship with somebody that you like. And you know, saying that it may be like, oh, well, as you should, but y'all be in relationships so quickly that y'all don't really like. Y'all just in relationship with doing anything, so make sure you're in Fully committed to and if you feel like they're not fully committed to you, the best advice is to do is communicate your feelings, talk it out. If it don't work, it don't work. That person is not fully committed. Don't try to force it. Y'all need to be talking about um, right person, wrong time. I don't believe in that because I believe in we can make it work and it depends on the reason of why it didn't work. Like if it didn't work because y'all lived across the state from each other. If there's anything excluding he couldn't get it together or you couldn't get it together, he couldn't drop his hose, you can drop your hose, it didn't work. If that was up to y'all, that's my relationship, I think. What does it take to get your attention in time? Honestly, it's really easy to get my attention in and over with you. If it's social media, honestly, sliding up on my story with a heart or sliding up on my story with like the, the uh, hot eyes, that's not even my attention because you're doing everything that all these niggas do, even the girls do that. That's nothing. Slide up and be different, be funny, or say, hey, you're pretty, like, I'll be like, thank you, or I want to get to know you. I'm going to end up going on your page and see if I like you or not. If I don't, I'll just be like, thanks. Don't tag call me. Do not tag call me. I hate being tag called. Like, if you tell me to walk to you, I'm gonna tell you to walk to me. Yeah, I just hate being tag called. Like, don't tag call me. Like, the most you could do is walk up a little bit. You could jog a little bit, but don't run up to me. I don't know. It's just, don't be weird. How do you get over complicated situations? Honestly, I just pray. I really do pray. I cry. Um, take a nap. Listen to music. Mm. Most of the time, I just like to be by myself. Do you have any siblings and are y'all close? Yes, I have one sister. <sighs> That's my best friend. Just know that my sister could be wrong. She be in a wrong. I don't care. If you trying to fight my sister, you're going to have to fight both of us. Because I don't play when it comes down to my sister. Honest opinion about college. My honest opinion about college is so easy. 
it's so easy to, you know, fall off. So if you don't want to go to college, if you know that whatever you want to do in life, you don't need college, don't go to college because you're just wasting your time. I mean, you might, if you're there for the experience, it's kind of like, okay, you got the experience. Now what? You're wasting your time. Instead of getting the experience, you know, you could go back and forth on different campuses, but don't, you know, enroll in college if you're really not dedicated. You get to choose your own life. You get to choose the decisions that you want to make in college. You get to choose if you want to go to class. You get to choose if you want to turn in your work. So if you're not dedicated to it, if you're not consistent with the college life, it is going to eat you up and you're going to be broke. Okay? College is really overrated. If you don't want to go, don't go. That's exactly why I'm trying to start something. That's my opinion on college. Don't go if you don't want to go. Do you want any kids? I would love to have two kids. It depends on who I'm with, honestly. If they say no or I'm just being a baby mama, no, I want to have a family. Okay, we're conjoined. I would love to have kids when I'm like 27 and up. What's your skincare routine? My skincare routine, I switch it up every single time. Like, I'm about to switch it up again. But as of right now, I'm using... This is the bar that I use. You can get this from your local beauty supply. Make sure your bar looks like this. Because they be selling that charcoal black stuff. That's gonna fuck your skin. If I don't use that, then I'll use like a regular Dow soap. I don't do too much. If y'all want a skincare routine video, I got you. Who's your favorite artist? My favorite artist is... As I can can y'all see him? The Weeknd. I know people are trying to cancel him and all that, but I don't care. Like... I don't care what he do. I'm listening to the music unless he, you know, assaults someone. I would say my top favorite artists would have to be Nicki Minaj, Ralph O'Neal, Dirk, Fizzle, Kelani, Ariana Grande, also Juice World. Don't play with Juice World. Yeah, I just can't believe it. Yeah, the Ruler, Yee, and Cardi. I love them. Turns on and turn off. Turn on is just someone that's thoughtful, someone that's funny, someone who isn't shy or scared to like show their personality. And turn off is someone who's just always trying to manipulate you. Worst fear, I'm terrified of heights. I hate heights. I hate getting high up and I can see the whole city. I can see the whole, like the whole universe. I just hate being high up like that. What's your dream car? Honestly, my dream car would have to be a Camaro or a Range Rover. What do you look for in a person? I don't look for anything in a person. I really just go outside. I hate when people assume. I don't go into situationships, texting anybody, thinking like, oh, we're going to be together. Are we going to be in a relationship? Like, no, I go outside. Any regrets? Honestly, don't. I don't regret anything. The only thing I regret in life is when bangs that shit was so embarrassing how many boyfriends have you had i haven't had any boyfriends you never make it to that stage are you ready to be in a relationship i'm just going on vibes like i'm not looking for a relationship it happens, it happens. that's literally my motto if it happens it happens like, would i like one what made you start a channel? I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. Since middle school, I used to have my own channel where I would just react to it. It was real, real cute, but I ended up deleting it because I was like, I look a mess. Like, I'm in high school. I don't want nobody to see these videos. And then I posted another video, but I deleted it. Like, so I just didn't want to sit there and edit the videos. Which I feel like I should have been in high school, but it is what it is. I'm doing it now. Really, just nothing to it. Like I've always just wanted to be a YouTuber, and I was really good at editing back in middle school because I taught myself on YouTube. So I was like, why not? Let's hope I don't get canceled. Are you an introvert or extrovert? It depends on who I'm around and who I'm with. Because I can either be loud or I can either be quiet. Do you plan on moving out of New Orleans? Yes, that's one of my goals to move out the city because there's nothing out here for me. I feel like if you don't leave, are you even going to survive at this point? The way the city is, it's too much max. Like, I think I would probably either go to Atlanta or yeah, maybe Chicago. I would move to Chicago. Worst habit one of my worst habits is overthinking. If something don't go the way I thought it was going to go, 
then I'm going to sit here and overthink. If I feel like I'm not getting enough attention, I'm going to think that you're not interested or you don't like me. Like I'm a really big overthinking. That's something that I have to work on. I don't know, cause I'm always right. So that's also that. Also, once I make my mind up, there's nothing that you can tell me to like make me switch. Like, I mean, there's times where people would tell me stuff and I'd be like, yeah, you're right. Like, okay, yeah, whatever. I'll fix that, cool. But you made me feel this way. Like, <laughs> but all just aside, just overthinking, that's like the worst thing I always see. Having anxiety, like, you know, I overthink, I drive myself Preview. we're working on it all right y'all so that's it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this q and a if you want more videos of more q and a's just ask me more questions i don't know when the next time i'm gonna do a q and a video this was cute though and i'm in my role so i'm real real comfortable make sure you guys like comment and subscribe for more videos and more videos will be coming soon like be on the lookout for my channel yes i've been taking like a little break a little gap but I promise you, I'm going to come back and I'm going to come back much stronger and harder. I'm just trying to see exactly what I want to do. It was so nice talking to you guys. I love you guys so much. Bye. Oh, hey.